Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for March 25th, uh, 2019. Uh, not a really big uh, video today, uh, just uh, kind of uh, dipping my feet back into the water making videos. Uh, so kind of a short one, but a couple interesting things. Uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, collector book, still sealed in the plastic which always uh, helps the value. Paid eight for it. Not sure what that'll bring, but uh, sometimes these uh, collector books uh, can bring really good money, uh, especially if they've been uh, discontinued. Uh, check out the hands. Is that uh, weird or what? Uh, the thumbs need a little, little bit of work. I guess they were for displaying uh, jewelry. Put them in a window or something, or maybe lay them down. You could even put uh, bracelets on them. Paid uh, 12 for the pair. Who knows? Maybe may give those a try, putting some jewelry on them. But uh, if not, we'll uh, uh, go ahead and list them. It's just one of those weird things that uh, should appeal to uh, some people. A uh, Chevrolet uh, key chain thing um, uh, guys that are really into their cars they want to get every little detail correct uh, that comes down to the little thing hanging off their key um, so uh, for two bucks can't go wrong a uh, ivory knife this is not going on eBay because uh, well ivory isn't allowed and uh, that'll get you into a lot of trouble for sure hopefully a little bit of goof off will take that out if it hasn't soaked into the grain of the uh, ivory uh, 12 got it for 10 um, I have another one of these uh, with elephants uh, so I guess now that I have two I have a collection uh, neat old uh, Brass, cop kind of looks like uh, bronze, maybe copper. Um, door plate uh, marked on the back. Some kind of mark there. But really well made. Uh, Ten bucks on that. Somebody uh, refurbishing an old Victorian is going to love that. Uh, really cool. Uh, I'm guessing this is first day issue. I'm not sure. USS Leyte uh, carrier from 1950. Um, and they're all the same. It's something like uh, 35 of them here. Uh, paid 20 bucks for the 35. So, uh, going to sell them individually. Uh, hopefully a uh, collector of the USS Leyte uh, will uh, um, uh, it's enough of them out there to uh, to sell these uh, I think they'll do well I could not find any other uh, examples of them uh, some tools for myself always need uh, Allen keys a pair of uh, solid brass uh, anchor candlestick holders, four dollars for the pair. Uh, not quite what sure what it is. It says four dollars on it. Cacti needle pointer from the house of Peter Breyer. So not quite sure what that is uh, for sewing or for a photograph, but uh, four bucks. Uh, we'll research it. A uh, old treasure craft uh, from 1958 uh, ashtray. Couldn't pass that up. Um, <laughs> these little things sell. Um, all these little calendars that sits on a desk, for some reason, uh, they sell pretty good. You get them cheap, can't go wrong. Uh, only $4 on that. Uh, dealer shoe uh, made out of wood got it for uh, four bucks 
a, a whole spool for three bucks of uh, braided wire. Should be good for uh, pictures or anything else. Uh, always good to have around the house. Uh, really cool uh, bag. Uh, that was 20 and that was 15. So 35 for the pair. Really nice beadwork on this. And the key is that all the beads are there. Normally there's at least one or two spots where the beads have popped off, but uh, um, they look good. I uh, love the uh, mother of pearl around the top. Um, just a really cool purse. I think uh, that's going to bring some good money. And uh, this one definitely looks like it's got some age to it. Uh, what I really like about it, you got this decoration on one side and flip it over. You got another one there, so I guess you could wear whatever matches your dress uh, better. Just wear that side out. Uh, love the work around the top. Couldn't find a name on it, but sometimes they, uh, they're kind of hard to find. Uh, still in the pack, uh, some Tiki coasters. Uh, tiki stuff always does well. Um, it's come all the way from New Zealand. Uh, three bucks on the whole pack. Can't go wrong. Lots and lots of toys. Uh, we'll go through and uh, sort them out. We have uh, Smurfs and Snorts and Sesame Street, uh, Garfield, uh, and uh, uh, there's E.T., uh, Looney Tunes, um, some Fraggle Rock, uh, you name it. Um, got them for uh, five bucks a bag, so you're looking at uh, thirty dollars there in toys. Uh, all from right around the early '80s to the early '90s. Uh, it's a good time period. Uh, what was a big purchase, and I hope it works out for me. Um, it's a uh, picture of a soldier. That coat looks great to me um, I'm thinking it's confederate uh, photographed by S.B. Howard uh, kind of a famous uh, photographer let me uh, not quite sure if the frame is original or not I really would expect more oxidation on the wood um, I think maybe somebody later on in the early 1900s might have took the picture and cut it down to this frame. Unfortunately, no um, identification uh, on the soldier, but uh, paid 115 for this. So hopefully, if it's a Confederate soldier. Even on a unidentified, I think it could do well. Um, but we'll see. Uh, the stripes worry me a little bit. It kind of looks like a Union stripes. Can't really make out the buttons or anything. But uh, uh, so, got to do a little more research into that. Oh, and uh, guy got this from me too in a Texaco pad, uh, memo pad. <laughs> uh, so, there we go. Uh, Keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing. So until next time, this is Will Yard Sales 5 list. We'll talk again soon.